good. You know, Henry's not that much taller than me. Maybe three inches. <laughs> okay. We have. More than three days later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have the illustrious Phil Ransom. And he's become even more illustrious since he met up with the wonderful, cute Kira. <laughs> so come on up, Phil, and uh, please go. She tells the truth. Yes, she does. Um, I'm actually, uh, it's kind of interesting that we, uh, we got out to a Lausanne, Fat Pam, Lausanne Yamoki theme, and, uh, I'm actually going to read one here, which I wrote, uh, last Halloween, um, in honor of, of Lausanne, and in honor of, this was before she launched her book, but it was, uh, it was after reading parts of her collection, which, uh, she put into her new book, I'm No Hero. And it was uh, really heartfelt, just uh, just uh, for a transition for refugees and such coming to Canada, the things that they have to deal with coming over here. It's just uh, the little normal parts of life that we live in that uh, we don't even realize how much it hurts them or affects them. And this one's called Fireworks. <clears throat> Celebrations are marked by fireworks. Fireworks remind me of the war. Whenever people celebrate, I cry. New Year's, Canada Day, Independence Day, Halloween. Every holiday becomes a nightmare where I'm back over there. Every pop and crack or bullet and someone dies. Every celebration, I die inside, but I survive. I recognize other survivors. The survivors watch the people when fireworks go off. Not to see the fallen, but to see the others who've survived. And they celebrate every time I hear the fireworks. I cry, and I die, and I celebrate, I survived. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I got time for this one last time, a little bit, of, little bit more fantasy, and this one is more towards Halloween, a little creepy and spooky and slithering in the night. <laughs> this one's called Kingdoms of the Night. After midnight comes, it stirs. Remnants of a life once left behind, and never more to see, but remnants of a past my future is meant to see. A life within my life that comes to me each night and beckons to me sleepy. Come, walk with me tonight. There's not a road on which to travel, nor a path to lead me on. I'm following a trail I left the day I choose, this course I'm on. I'm not evil, per se. It's not in me, I say. But I know the guy is Elsa stuff, pure, uncut, the kind of evil you can tell your friends about. And that's good evil. And I feel it, and it flows. And when my night calls, I step up to the dark, and the night comes to meet me. My past comes to greet me, and I'm there, back in time. And it stirs. And I am all at once alive, the man who moves the night. Strolling through pocket dreams of kings and queens who rule until daylight. Careful little kingdoms which disappear at dawn. Dispensing dreams to the ghosts of those whose hopes and dreams are gone. And I traverse these secret kingdoms, a guest at most, an unchained ghost with a passport to the past, present and future beyond all borders, a player not yet cast. Till dawn's first light touches night and the dream begins to fade, then I slip away to greet the day while the kingdoms come unmade. The call of midnight dulls to a murmur, and I become the man I chose to be, strolling the same old sidewalks, now set in sunlight, where kings and queens all bow to me.